I don't see much. I saw their best hitter go down now for the next two months. Otherwise, the lineup's not intimidating. The pitching's not intimidating. And the whole org needs a reset. Let's charge the damn mound. Mm. <laughs> what are you laughing at? You can't even get at me today. I have my own charging. Yeah, I come in here. Chick-fil-A. I come here with confidence today. Cheese. Mm. The St. Louis Cardinals had an eight run top of the seventh inning to smack the Angels. Oof. They win 10 to 5. They now have the same record as the Cincinnati Reds. Both teams are seven games back of first place Milwaukee. Ken Rosenthal's fair territory covered a little bit of the Cardinals and their slow start to the season and even mixed in some sound from John Mazalak, who's led that front office for a long time. They asked Mazalak about Ali Marmol. So first off, mm. do, do we think that the Cardinals have a chance to get no. back into this race? No. Like I mean, not a goldsmith keeps doing what he's doing. You think that's the problem? That's the key right now? Him and Arenado, yeah. That I mean, you know what's but funny? But Goldschmidt just go over thirty four. Yeah, he had a long slump. But you know what's funny? Like the offense is ranked towards the bottom in runs. The pitching's not ranked well either. They're, no, they're giving up a lot of runs. Like the run differential, your favorites. The run differential's not good, but it was good yesterday. Dude, they have like no above average hitters in their lineup. Carpenter, no. Newport, no. Goldschmidt, no. Arenado, no. Gorman, no. Herrera, seven twenty three OPS, the highest OPS. In their lineup, Donovan, no. Wynn, no. Siani, no. Burleson, no. Carlson, OPS of 105, which isn't really fair. But it's their pitching's been better, I think, than people thought. Now, granted, they played the Angels, who pitching or offense isn't good either. But I don't know. I don't see it, boys. But maybe you all do because I missed something when they when everyone was like, oh, the Cardinals are going to win the division on their projections. I'm like, uh, same team they had last year. Listen, I – I think everybody's still in it, per se. You know what I mean? You got Oakland that's doing well. Nationals are doing above expectations of what these teams are doing. They're only they're seven games out, and we're a quarter of the way through. AJ, I agree 100% with what you're saying, but anybody can catch fire. I mean, you've seen some of these teams. The White Sox, I think they won five in a row. So it's like, will that keep happening? Most likely not, but... It's very surprising. It's very entertaining. It's it's great for baseball. And, you know, any team can just catch fire. Lance Lynn can get these boys going and Gibson, and and you never know what can happen. If Goldsmith comes along, you ride that one person, you keep on rolling. You can't catch fire if you're holding water. Somebody needs to be the gasoline <laughs> on that fire. I like that. I like because that. right now nobody's stepping up. They're scoring. I get it. They scored eight runs. All off the bullpen. After Soriano just diced them up. They've been scoring three runs in like 12 or 13 games, three runs or less so far this season. Like they are not scoring runs and nobody's able to step up. Are they looking for Goldschmidt to step up? Maybe. He kind of had a slow spring training. The whole team kind of has slow spring training. Like the homers, I get it. Like spring training doesn't mean anything, but when the exact same thing that was happening in spring training, carries over with your lineup and i think it really i mean ultimately i think skip schumacher is going to be the manager of this team next year but it boils down to where's the continuity in the lineup where is the consistency for this team and maybe they'll start finding it maybe they won't keep platooning or shifting players different positions let's this is what we got we got to go for it we got to push all in Hold on, can we rewind? Wait, what? Wait, only Marvel got fired? 20 seconds. Go back. <laughs> Mocker. What did you say? Yes. Yeah, Skip. Skip Schumacher is going to be the manager of this team next year. Skip Schumacher is a free agent. Ollie Marmel's not. Ollie Marmel had a contract extension mm-hmm. in not long March. Ago. By the way, I have to ask this question. To I'm not so disputing did, it, by the way. Yeah, I actually so did Mazalak. Mazalak so, also got a contract extension, too. So it was like, hey, I don't want to leave you hanging. You're kind of my Skip, guy. If Skip gets it, then AJ's going to be the assistant coach. No chance. What? <laughs> no chance. I would love it if he was the assistant coach, just so his, his title could say ass coach. 
That's, that's all. That's the only <laughs> reason I'd want it. It'd be my license plate would say "Ass Man." Like <laughs> all right. Love so it. I have a question for Todd and Kratz. I know Kratz's answer is going to be the Cardinals are in last place. Okay, I know they have the same record as the Reds. Who are the Cardinals better than in this division? Reds. Mm-mm. Okay. Mm-mm. Cubs. Love mm-hmm. it, love Brewers. <laughs> I know Kratz is going to say no to that one. Pirates? Pirates. Are they better than the Pirates? Yeah. Wait. Okay. That's okay. A good so they're a fourth place team. Which team finishes with a better record, Pittsburgh or St. Louis? I actually think Pittsburgh. Well, Pittsburgh's Louis. trying harder. Really? You don't think St. Louis, if it comes to it, will start trading some dudes because they got some dudes mm. Goldschmidt last year. They got some guys. Are they going to be sellers? Are they going to be yes. sellers? We don't know. One hundred percent. I'm already saying it now. They are one hundred percent sellers. We'll see. Why not? You still got, you still got time. There's plenty. That's of time his luck. Now. That's his luck. That's a lot. That's his also, top father, <laughs> your top father. To your point earlier, any team can go on a run. Yeah, but if you're starting on that run and you're seven, ten, fifteen games under, it doesn't matter. You have to make a ridiculous run. Like the Rockies sure. are sellers, even though they've won five in a row. The White Sox are selling. The Marlins are selling. We're getting through the easy teams. Cardinals are selling. Mm-hmm. I'm Angels, telling you, Angels will sell what they have. It's it's also it's not like we're looking at them going. Oh, they're missing. They're just losing some close games here and there. A lot of the team stats look good. The peripheral numbers, like we watched the Padres last year and said, ah, there's talent here. There's dudes that are thriving. They're losing a lot of close games and never all came together for them. But that's why they weren't big sellers at the deadline. To me, I don't see much. I saw their best hitter go down now for the next two months. Otherwise, the lineup's not intimidating. The pitching's not intimidating. And the whole org needs a reset. It does. He said it. And and they have a chance to oh, strike Homer. at the deadline and strike early. You're right. I think teams would be very interested in Paul Goldschmidt. I think teams would be very interested in Ryan Helsley at the back end mm-hmm. of a bullpen and can get a significant prospect. Well, like Lance too. Lynn, Kyle Gibson are on one-year deals too. They can go to an organization and fill some innings for you later. year. Remember last year when we had Lance Lynn on right around when he was traded? It's going to happen again. Ooh. Do you guys disagree? What's more of a lock? Cardinals selling or Skip Schumacher being the Cardinals manager next year? Cardinals I mean, right now it would be Cardinals selling. Mm-hmm. Okay. The only way Kratz Skip did not answer. Be, ooh, Kratz. But what if what if another team offers Skip more? Ooh. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> could be a, could be the Padres. No, they're not getting Schilt. No, they're keeping Schilt. Piece of Schilt is in there. Be the White Sox. He's got these guys going. Who? Could be the White Sox. Could be the Rockies. White Sox? To do what? Hire Skip. They have to pay. They don't okay. pay. For scratch hang out. on, hang on, hang on. Let me see if Skip played for the Royals. I don't he think so. Not. No, I don't uh, believe he did. Mm-mm. True. Like, like a little stint? Like Maybe he was for a, Padre. a minute? He was a Padre in spring training. I know that. And he was, he, a, go- he was a coach with the Padres. True. Did he go to the Marlins? Or did he go to the Royals? All right, so this is interesting, though. But The Cardinals are going to be interesting because, again, all these people are picking them to win the division. And when we did our projections, I'm like, I don't see where they got better. I mean, I love Lance. I love Kyle Gibson. I love Sonny Gray. But they also lost Jordan Hicks. They lost a bunch of guys. And then Wilson Contreras being down for two months, we didn't know it at the time. Right? But Goldschmidt, another year older. He, You know, Arenado didn't have a great year last year. And you look at their team. It was, it, basically, if you look at their team and, and talking to people – inside the Cardinals a little bit. Like Newbar, Carlson, Edmund, Donovan, Burleson, they're all the same guy. They're the same, they're like the same player. So when you game plan for them, you're like, oh, we have seven of the same dudes and just game plan and pitch them the same. And then oh you have Arnado and Goldschmidt and can hurt Contreras that could hurt you. And then the rest of them are like, okay, we'll we'll get through those guys. But if Goldschmidt, Arnado and Contreras out, it's a tough lineup. Tough as in not going to do much. Exactly. As tough as like, how are we going to score four runs a game? They they have not developed lately. There was a long period of time where you would see a Cardinals rookie come through and be like, this dude wasn't even ranked that high. Where did he come from? Wow, they're really doing a nice job developing. And then the, the player thrives at the big league level. We're actually seeing the reverse now. Something changed or they just fell behind or they're going through a time period where it's, it's either the players they're drafting or, the development system. Kratz, do you agree? Like, 
Jordan Walker, prime example right now, of course. But there are players that get to the show, and I know the show is way tougher, but they don't look like they are developing and becoming solid big league players or hitting the ceiling that they're supposed to hit. Position players, I can't really, you know, going back and thinking about position player rookies, I know playing under Tony La Russa, it was a high expectation. If you came up as a rookie, you didn't do it his way, whether it was right or wrong, Tony La Russa was like, nope. So they had a standard. Pitchers, I can definitely attest to the fact that pitchers, when they would get called up with the Cardinals from, let's say, a 2009 to 2015 time period, if you didn't check this off the list, this off the list, this off the list, you have to be able to throw two pitches for strikes and be working on a third pitch. You have to be a, below a one, two, five holding runners or you're not getting called up. And you have to obviously understand your role. So it's one of those things that you have to constantly, you have to constantly keep your standards. And I don't know that they've been able to keep those standards for guys. And so they've tried to piece it all together. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's just finish with this. If you have to pick one way or the other, raise your hand if you think the Cardinals will be selling hard over the next couple months. Selling hard. Like anybody that is a free agent after this season and maybe even the season after that. I think it's an easy, easy hand raise. I'm waiting for Kelsey Bird to tell me what my answer should be. If it wasn't the case, if that wasn't the case, they would have gone after Jordan Montgomery. They would have gone after (laughs) trading for Corbin Burns. They would have gone after... Blake Snell, because they have the third or fourth richest owner in baseball. They went after dudes that, hey, you know what? Hope it makes it. Hope we do good. I know we got Sonny Gray. We kind of got, you know, we could have gotten all three of those guys, but we didn't. Yep. True. All right. We'll see. Kelsey didn't respond, so you have to tell us yes or no. I feel like this is easy. You guys really think that they're going to jump back in it and we're going to be talking about it? I said they were going to sell. Yeah. Cardinals fans will lose their mind, according to Kelsey Bird. So yeah, Jackson they'll lose their mind if they trade guys. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but Cardinals I don't fans think are, they are really good. They're smart too. Some of the best if fans. They're watching made. a product and going, "This ain't it." They're going to be like, "What are we getting?" Yeah, but what are they going to do? Just a hard reset, and they're going to go to the Cardinals fans and say, "Hey guys, we're going to rebuild mm-hmm. for five years." The Cardinals no. don't do that. That, but no. re, I, I do think there's a difference in baseball between rebuild and reload. You can sell at one deadline and get some prospects and then Are they going to sign Juan it. Soto? No, probably, they don't have a history of doing that. Who are they going to go out and get this I mean, offseason? There's a lot of free agents. About I that. understand that, but. My thing is, look at the Mets. Last year, coming with the highest payroll in baseball, it was not it. Okay. They sold some players away, got some nice prospects. Yeah. They're a 500-ish team probably this year, and they're going to go nuts this offseason, and they're competing. So it's like a one-and-a-half-year reload. I'm, you know, it's not a tank. Okay, guy. so let me ask you this. If they rebuild, does that mean Mosellock has to go? Here's the, the misconception with Mosellock. You have to look. I think it was this past offseason he said he's got one or two years left in his current role, and then he is going to be taking a step back. That's well. already been, been put out there. More of like your emeritus situation or overseeing. Didn't Walt Jockety do something like that with the Reds? Mm. Oh, you know what I'm saying? He's, he's, he's been running the ship there for a long time. So Mo is very successfully too. his end point. Super successfully. I actually think he gets way too much crap. The Cardinals operated as a mid to about mid, mid tier in terms of payroll, right? And they were a contender every freaking year for a long time. I would right. say they're they were always upper, good. Yeah, I would say they're upper upper mid tier. I mean, they probably they probably were in the one hundred and eighty range, but they had homegrown guys. They had homegrown homegrown guys, and they supplemented them with some nice pickups. Nolan Arenado pickup was such a great pickup. Like, but you had a cornerstone at a premium position. Hall of Famer. Right now, right now they're thirteenth this year. In payroll. Right. So mid tier. That's exactly a mid level. That's about what you suspect, though, right? Yeah. Yankees, Mets, Astros, Phillies, Texas, Atlanta, Dodgers, Toronto, Cubs, Giants, Red Sox 11, Anaheim 12. I mean, Anaheim has 175 million. They're like 200,000 over the Cardinals. They have 100 million of that on the IL right now. 
Well, and I put them in different really? category because the GMs there aren't allowed to do what they want. No, but Mo- Moselock's <laughs> been there for how long? When did he take over? Nine, ten? It's probably been like 20 years. Well, really? He's been, yeah, I think he's coming up on his 20th year. Okay, because he was there and I was there in 14. Mm-hmm. And he'd been there for a bit. I mean, listen, I like Moselock. He was great to me. Does... You know, does he get to stay though? I mean, twenty years is a long shelf life. Will he move into that? Because here's the thing: if you keep him around, right? If you keep Moselock around, even as an emeritus, people or whoever takes over next is still going to have to ask their question: Well, is Moselock helping you? I think that next year we'll see Haim Bloom running the front office mm. with Skip Schumacher as his skipper. Wow! Oh wow, Kratzy, you got you just swayed. He's already there. What about Alex Cora to the Cardinals with Heim Bloom? They were together in Boston. That's a possibility, but actually, no, it's not. No, it's not. Sorry. They don't like each other. Okay. It's Skip and it's Heim, and Kratz is grinning because he feels like we might have to clip this and show it in a year and tell everyone, told you. <laughs> Glad you guys put the dots together. Thank you. By the way, the team that Heim built that he was told to build on a much more limited payroll than usual for the <laughs> Red Sox with more prospects. It's holding up. It's holding up decently right now. As Todd said, it's early. It's early. Understandable. It's early. Hey, everybody. Be sure to like and subscribe for more content. We're back here every weekday, all year long, so do not miss an episode. The videos are coming in all day. Here's another video you might enjoy. Baseball, the way it should be covered.